The Minister of the Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Godswill Akpabio, has stressed on the need for a forensic audit of the Niger Delta Development Commission. Senator Akpabio, during a recent public hearing in Abuja, says the commission had strayed from its founding terms of reference and had become a laughingstock nationwide, following allegations of widespread corruption within the commission. Senator Akpabio says the only solution to reverse the rot now synonymous with the commission was to initiate an audit and bring those responsible to book. Our correspondent Amadin Uyi reports. The public hearing was expected to put to rest allegations of widespread corruption by the Interim Management Committee of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Lawmakers say the hearing had become necessary because of the many unanswered questions about the operation of the commission and the award of frivolous contracts by the commission's management. Senators Grill, the Minister of Niger Data Affairs, Senator Gosri Lakpabio, seeking for answers to the myriad of questions. I have a focused approach to the development of the Niger culture. We are interrogating just any and everything. So I think we need to put back into the context of what is happening in the Niger does the NDDC Act allow you to make some expenditure prior to the approval of the National Assembly uh, operation? The issue of corporate governance, your role as uh, what I call standing in the gap for a board in terms of corporate oversight, we like to know that. The minister, while replying the lawmakers, said there is need for more synergy between the National Assembly and the Commission. When you pass it at the Red Chamber, you will think that you have done the Niger Delta people good. But people will take you to a Hilton Hotel, and then 1.3 billion, they will put 100 million naira. Then they will take 1.2 billion and divide it into, into the supply of school deaths, supply of primary school deaths. Then the DDC does not have schools. So why do we go into spending 18 to 27 billion? on primary school deaths, and things that have no relevance to the region, and yet people are working. If we do not change that system, sir, we will never have development there. I'm not going to be a minister forever. I'm going to be a minister for the, at the pleasure of Mr. President for the next few months. But I believe in transformation. Senator Pabio says a forensic audit is necessary, as corruption has become rife within the commission. I have, as I speak now, 3.7 billion naira documents of a contract that was given to somebody to do electrification of some areas in Uyo. I had done the complete electrification of those areas, going towards the China. But they gave 3.7 billion naira contract in NDDC. And they have paid money, and we intend to bring those things out. Not just for you to know, but to make sure that we bring an end to those things. Because as a governor, I would not know that the projects I'm paying for are also being paid for by NDDC. So the, it is the totality of the rot that came to what we call forensic auditing, ordered by Mr. President. So my answer to all the questions, forensic, forensic, forensic. Amadi, plus TV Africa.